Welcome back to Let's Play I Wanna Kill the Camellia 3 Part 2 Alright, so in the last episode we beat stage 1 and also the boss of stage 1 while collecting every crystal there was to get which I'm not too sure if this will be possible for stage 2 since it has a specific crystal that I would not be able to get right now. And also a quite mean RG crystal which is basically one you have to get lucky for to get. So I might actually skip that one as well, just because of, I don't know when I would get that done, so I might just do that another day. But yeah, so far, you can see that the difficulty um, in Stage 2 definitely increased. This game is... Venge Needles. I want to Venge Needles. And this second screen also has a crystal, so it might take a little bit longer to complete. And there it is. Now we just have to loop back around basically and collect it. Alright. There we go. And that is it. Alright. I wanna be the Pew Pew Trap. Alright, yeah, this... will have the crystal I was talking about. I guess I can still enter it to show you guys how it looks like. But if I can't get it done and maybe I'll give it about 10 minutes, then I'll probably just skip it. For now, I will have to revisit stage 2 anyway at some point, so I will definitely get it in the future. So after you hit the save, you just go back down and there's a fake wall right here. Alright, so this is the room. And, well, at least the song that's used in here is quite good, actually. So, you have to get basically a, a... I don't know the exact number, but your percentage you have to get has to be quite low. And, yeah. If you're unlucky, it might take multiple hours, actually. That was alright, but again, not that lucky. Alright, so I tried actually for about 10 minutes and it seems like this is the luckiest I can get. 1.5625, that's fine. Alright, I'll eventually come back to that. Anyway. And maybe I'll even think of something more creative to do there while I'm continuously walking right. I mean, there's just nothing interesting about that crystal right now, so we'll come back to that in the future. It's fine. 
I wanna be the heir. Alright. That tiny mini spike is quite treacherous. Alright. Next screen. And more traps. That's basically the theme of these screens. Alright. I can't quite remember all of them. But at least some of them. Okay, this should be it. Perfect. Alright. For the screen. You basically... Get the solution from the save. And just... Enter the number it tells you to. Okay. So there actually is some achievement on the screen, which is where you have to hit the switch multiple times, I think 20 in total, and it will trigger an ear rape spider to fall down and crush you. <laughs> Alright. Okay, anyway, so for this screen, you basically have to wait. For, I think one minute and then hit the switch so I'll just cut to that part I guess all right let's try it now and there it is all right five five seven three there we go next screen is I want to buy the crayon all right a speed gimmick for this one. And, alright, the first save wasn't too bad. Now, as for this gimmick, it makes you jump pretty high. Which obviously makes the save possible in the first place. But it also buffs the final jump. Alright, and you should avoid any save that says death on it. Alright. Second screen. This red line gives you very, very high gravity. And if I recall correctly, the yellow line, um, a little bit lower gravity. Yeah which makes those diagonal jumps actually quite difficult. Alright, you have to stutter a bit. And final drop. Okay. Last save already. It's going pretty well. Perfect. I want to escape the silver tower. I remember the screen to be quite, quite tricky actually. Let's see how long it will take. Alright, we finally reached the ending part of the save. Let's see if we can pull this off. Yes! Alright. So overall, didn't take too long to beat. And I'm pretty sure that the second save is much easier than the first one.
All right. Next crystal. Uh, someone this screen. That looks good. Basically, makes you beat safe one twice. All right, so it's time to do it again. Perfect. Wow, well, alright. Almost first spread the save. Almost second tried it. Alright. <laughs> Would have been too impressive. There we go. Oh, I think this is the first ledge we have to pull off in this game. Alright. Now for this jump you want to get as close to the edge as possible and then just full jump through the runs. And preferably not die there. <laughs> Alright, I don't know why I did that. <laughs> yes! Alright, at least didn't mess up the final jump. Off the save. Whew, alright. Let's try to save properly. Good. Maybe here. Nice! I actually just held left and it magically worked. Well, well, that was that was quite a good attempt. I'm sure I can replicate that soon. Maybe now, maybe not. <laughs> maybe I can die to the same exact spike again. That also works. What about this attempt? Alright. Alright, time for the hardest drop again. Alright, I don't know why. <laughs> I died there so many times. And we reached payment already. Alright. So for this screen, the cherries spawn at random locations and you have to avoid your way through the screen and those spikes move, I forgot it's quite the interesting concept to be honest but it can get really mean at some times And, well, <laughs> I didn't die to a cherry. That was very close. Also, I'm quite aware that this Let's Play might not be the most exciting thing ever since it's not really blind but we reached the backtrack I just want to see how far I can get with this idea 
and if it might help me. Alright, so let's focus, actually. This was quite bad RNG. I think... Alright. That was risky. I wanted to jump up right away. Which ended up killing me. Nice. Alright. And with that, we reach the second secret. I want a bit of needle Satan. Oh boy. This save might actually take some time to complete. what my strategy was for that. The jumps in here are really precise, each one of them. Maybe except the very last one, but you can still choke to that, I guess. So hopefully this won't take too long to beat. Okay. So... Um, now, it's this jump. Whew. Do I still know how to do this? I think that was the right approach, I just didn't time it correctly. Okay, but that's, that's progress. Wow. I'm actually quite shocked. I think I spent about four minutes in this room. What just happened? Alright, so that is the first save complete. I, I actually can't believe it. Alright. Yeah, you can't just cheese that. Okay, I feel better with that align. Well, let's see how long this will take to complete. So I'm not really a friend of this first jump already. And no success. Okay, I think I found a better line for the plane. And I walked off.
so um, I know that I never mind. So as I was saying, since I right now have the align that allows me to walk off that spike in the top right, and it also let me survive this corner. I'm pretty sure it's not a bad align for it. I didn't check, but maybe I should have. Alright, it took quite a while to get back to this point. Oh my god! Yes! Actually, second try to. Thank you. Thank you, game. Alright, next save. Starts off very gentle with the ceiling double diamond. Which just worked. Alright. So, I actually forgot how I got past this part. Um, yeah, something like that, and then. Cancel to the right and jump through the flame. Alright. This should give me an easier time though than the last save, definitely. <laughs> Almost. Wow. Again! What? Finally! Alright. It took 30 minutes to do that jump once. Uh, let's see how this will go. Oh my god. I am so nervous right now. Wow. I am so happy that I didn't die after the plane. That was incredible. I can't believe it. Alright, if we press F8 now, there it is. Auto fire. My intention is to use this for bosses, which will make them less painful, so this secret was definitely worth it, but oh man, the needle the needle was quite something alright let's just continue, I'm very motivated right now nothing can stop me now Maybe that cherry circle can actually. <laughs> so we're in. I wanna be the payment right now. And for those fruit timings, I think you wanna jump when the bottom fruit is at its maximum size. I think.
well. All right. What is the best time to go up? Whoa. Oh no. That was a bad call. Just go. Just finish it. Yes! Okay. That was one of the trickier crystals to get, definitely. Okay, now we are in. I wanna be the rose gear. I really like the looks of this tile set. Alright, just uh, just gonna die there. Alright, let's try this time not to mess this up. Perfect. And then again, you have crystals like these, which are just, I guess well hidden, but really not challenging at all to get. Alright. Second Rose Gear screen. This one is also kind of special. Alright. I'm actually surprised that I remembered the trap before that. Actually. This one. Now this cherry is gonna chase us and that was probably not the best way to do that jump. Those, those. Alright, last jump. And done. Alright. Magnanimity. Final stretch. Alright, let's do this. Let's finish stage 2 once and for all. Even though I'll have to come back eventually to collect remaining crystals. Alright. First save wasn't too bad. Amazing! Keep going. Oh, almost. Alright. That would've been cool. Very nice.
here you have to fight with RNG for a little bit since those crawlers spawn at random times and just jump over <laughs> very well Let's try not to mess this up. Nice! Got it. Alright. Second step. That is... The second stage also cleared. I feel like... This stage, especially because of the secret, took a little bit longer than stage 1. So, I guess for this part, I'm gonna leave it here. First of all, I'm gonna save, actually. Alright. So, that was stage 2. Including the second secret, we collected the auto fire, the auto gun, and we almost collected all of the crystals. Looking at the list, yeah, I've missed two of them. The RNG crystal and one crystal I can't possibly get right now, which I'll have to revisit stage 2 to get that at some point. But for now I think this wraps it up pretty well. So we will fight the stage 2 boss next time. Hope to see you for that and take care.